So I just presented the 10 years result of the AMAROS trial. AMAROS is an acronym for after mapping of the axilla, radiotherapy or surgery. And this is about breast cancer patients who have a tumor positive sandal node. And these patients were randomized between either full axillary clearance, what was considered to be standard treatment in those days, and uh, radiotherapy to the axilla, usually together with radiotherapy of the breast. Um, this trial is designed around 1999 in the past century, and in those days when a patient had a tumor-positive sandal node, axillary clearance was by far the standard of care. And we would like to de-escalate side effects further. The main aim was to show of this trial was to show that the axillary occurrence rate of lymph node metastasis was equal by both modalities and that um, the radiotherapy modality would be associated with less side effects. So this trial was up and running between 2001 and 2010. It entered 4,800 patients. 1,400 of them had a positive central node and two times 700 were randomized between either radiation therapy or full axillary surgery of the axilla. Uh, we presented five years ago in 2013 the five years results and this showed a very low event rate in the axilla in both groups, very low and uh, much less side effects in the patients who had radiation therapy. But there, were, there was some criticism by then. Because of the very low number of events, the trial was considered underpowered, so the non-inferiority was not statistically shown, albeit that the number of events were extremely low, so we were happy for our patients. And secondly, um, the five years follow-up was considered uh, short for breast cancer. Breast cancer is a slow-growing disease, so it was considered short, and people thought, well, maybe after 10 years, there will be more events in the radiotherapy group or more side effects. So, um, according to the five years results, the, the results were not generally accepted. There were countries where they maintain doing uh, axillary clearance or nothing, and radiotherapy only in a limited way. Now we have the 10 years results to convince the community that it is really a good thing to do, because the number of events is still extremely low. In 2013, there were four lymph node metastases in the axillary clearance group after five years, and seven in the radiation group, now the figures are 7 and 11 out of 700 each group, so that's extremely low. So both treatments are, from a cancer point of view, equal. Then of course the side effects and the long-term side effects. We don't have much more extra information because getting the forms of, um, was, was not easy, but we have some extra information and uh, the risk of lymphedema, swelling of the arm, is indeed uh, far lower in the radiation group. So the conclusion is radiation to the axilla, particularly in those patients who will get irradiation anyway because of breast conservation or the primary tumor characteristics mandate a chest wall radiation and the central node is positive, just do radiation of the axilla together with the breast or the chest wall, and you have an excellent regional control and less side effects. For coming Monday, should we now irradiate every patient with a tumor-positive sandal node? Well, no, that's not per se necessary. Uh, there are two other trials who randomized between axillary clearance and wait and see. And uh, those trials also showed in the wait and see groups a very low axillary recurrence rates. But these patients got irradiation, tangential field and systemic treatments. So for our practice in my environment, we have decided the following, isolated tumor cells, micromets, very small deposits, do nothing. 
low-risk breast cancers, it's more than two centimeter, uh, unexpected lymph node, uh, one ma macromet in the lymph node and the other one, the sentinel lymph node, and the second is free, wait and see. Larger tumor, grade three, uh, heavier, um, more tumor deposits in the central nodes, radiation of the axilla. And I, I think this general idea is more and more accepted. What we uh, observed in this trial is that there, it looks like there is somewhat more contralateral breast cancers in the radiation of the axilla group as compared to the surgery group. It is um, in absolute numbers 12 and 22. It's still very low. Um, so one could think that the extra irradiation may have any effect, a, a small effect on the risk of contralateral breast cancer. Well, this is, on the other hand, difficult to to see because all the patients received tangen tangential field breast irradiation anyway. And so, and from the tangential fields, it is maybe that some side effects could be on the other breast. There is uh, different, um, there are many studies on this and there is no one study which shows a very uh, large effect on control natural breast cancer. So in conclusion, with respect to the somewhat more uh, control natural breast cancer, it is a coincidental uh, finding. We don't think it's really related to this irradiation of the axilla. And then a third criticism is that the radiation fields we used for the amaros was not only the axilla but also the supraclavicular fields, which is not standard throughout. And um, in our institute as well, many other institutes, we only um, um, irradiate now the axilla and we don't use this supraclavicular field anymore.